welcome to my channel i hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful diaper cover i made it to match the little dress that i showed you in my channel in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you the link to that tutorial now this diaper cover along with the little dress is for baby girls between three and six months old but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from a newborn size and up to 12 months in the information box below i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box as well thank you so much for your support to make the diaper cover and the little dress this is the yarn that i used this is dk weight yarn but you can also use any number three yarn or a ply i recommend that you use cotton yarn if you're going to make this set for the summertime now in total you're going to need about 75 grams for the diaper cover about 60 grams in the main color and about 15 grams in white you are going to need less or more depending on the size that you make okay let's get started don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that youtube can recommend my videos and if you like this tutorial please hit that like button thanks so much for watching to begin i'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this dk weight yarn you can also use any number three yarn or a ply now at the beginning of the video i showed you the yarn that i'm using and i told you how much yarn we're going to need for the size that we're making so here to begin with the white yarn i have a total of 80 chains this chain without stretching it's measuring about 43 centimeters which is about 17 inches now if you're off by one or two centimeters it's okay continue with the 80 chains so here to begin the first thing that we need to do is we need to join to the first chain this is going to be the waistband so to begin insert your hook into this first chain grab a loop and pull through now we're joined now we're going to chain one this chain here does not count as a stitch now insert your hook through the first chain here and make a half double crochet now into each one of the remaining chains we're going to make half double crochets and this is how we're going to work this first row one half double crochet on each chain at the end of this first row i'm going to have 80 half double crochets continue like this for this first row i'll meet you at the end i'm here at the end of this first row this is where i did half double crochets all around i have a total of 80 half double crochets not including the chain here at the beginning to finish this row go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the second row chain one now in this row what i'm going to do is front post and back post half double crochets so beginning into this first half double crochet which is the same one that we joined to make a front post half double crochet now into the next make a back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet and so on this is how we're going to work the second row front post and back post half double crochets continue i will meet you at the end of this second row I'm here at the end of the second row. In this row, I did front post and back post half double crochets. Here's my last stitch. I have a back post half double crochet. To finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row with a total of 80 half double crochets. Now for rows three and four, chain one. Beginning with this first stitch here, we're going to start with a front post half double crochet now the next one is a back post so make a back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet here we're going to be working these stitches exactly how they are if it's a front post make a front post if it's a back post then make a back post now to finish the row you're going to go here to the beginning join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing for the fourth row continue for these two rows i'll meet you at the end 
I finished making rows three and four where I did front post and back post half double crochets. At the end of each row, I had 80 stitches. Here at the end of the fourth row, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the waistband is done. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to flip this like this, and we're going to go here into the foundation row. If you notice into these spaces here, that is where I'm going to go in and make single crochets in this first row. So we're going to go right here into this first space. Now grab a loop here. I'm going to use this pink yarn. So pull a loop through, chain one. Now in this row, we're going to make single crochets into these spaces here that are between the half double crochets. And in this row, I'm going to increase eight more stitches so that at the end of this first row, I have 88 stitches. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make nine single crochets and into the 10th, I'm going to increase. So beginning into this first stitch where I did the chain, make your first single crochet. Into the next, make a single crochet that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into the tenth, make a single crochet increase. Now repeat the same thing. Make nine single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the tenth space, make a single crochet increase. Continue like this all around for this first row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. In this row, I did single crochets all around and I increased uh, eight more stitches. Here's my last increase. I have a total of 88 single crochets. To finish the row, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain three. Now these three chains here counts as one double crochet. Now into this same stitch here, make two double crochets. Now chain one and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Here's the first fan for this second row. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make a fan. So make three double crochets, chain one, one double crochet. Again, skip three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a fan. Now this is how we're going to continue for the rest of this second row. Again, skip three and into the fourth, make a fan. Continue, finish this second row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did fans. I have a total of 22. Now here at the end, skip these last three single crochets and go into the third chain here at the beginning and join with a slip stitch. And here is the second row with 22 fans. From here on, we're always going to have 22 fans at the end of each row. Now for the third row, we're going to turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a slip stitch into the chain space, make a slip stitch, and now chain three. Make two double crochets into the same space here. Chain one, one double crochet. Here's the first fan for this third row. Now into each one of the chain spaces of each fan, you're going to make fans. So make three double crochets, one chain, one double crochet, and so on. This is the row that we're going to repeat from here on, and we're always going to turn. So continue, finish this third row. I will meet you here at the end to once again show you how to finish each row from here on and how to start each row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did fans. I have 22 fans. To finish each row, we're going to go here into the third chain, insert your hook, and join with a slip stitch. And that's how you're going to finish each row from here on. Now, to begin each row, you're going to turn, and beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a slip stitch. Into the chain space, make a slip stitch. Now, chain three, and into this same 
space here, make two double crochets, one chain, one double crochet. So here's the first fan for this fourth row. Now into each one of the chain spaces here of each fan, you're going to make fans. And that's all we're going to do for the rest of the diaper cover here. To finish the row, you're going to go here into the third chain, slip stitch, and then turn and make the next row in the exact same way as I showed you here. And that's all. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do from here on, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of that row. And remember, at the end of each row, you're always going to have 22 fans. I finished making this part here. I did a total of 13 fan rows plus the row of single crochets. I have 14 rows here for this part now. It's measuring from the top of the waistband to the end of the last row. It's measuring about 19.5 centimeters, which is about 7.75 inches. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to separate the legs. So to divide the legs, this is what we're going to do. This is where I finished. So for the back side, I have two fans. For each one of the legs, I have nine fans and here for the front, I have two fans. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make these two fans and these two fans. We're going to start here, then we're going to go here, here, and here so that here we have four fans. So let me show you. We're going to make the crutch before we do the legs. So turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a slip stitch and into the chain space, make a slip stitch. Now chain three two double crochets, one chain, one double crochet. So here's the first fan for the back side. Now to separate the leg, we're going to chain one, skip nine fans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and into the fan after the stitch marker, which is the first one here for the front, make a fan. Now into the next chain space of the next fan, make a fan. So here are the two fans for the front side. Now to separate the second leg, same thing. Chain one, skip nine fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And into the next one in the chain space here, make the second fan for the back side. To finish, join with a slip stitch into the third chain, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. So we have divided the legs. We have two fans here for the front and two fans here for the back. This is the back side. This is where we started. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the left side. Again, this is the back side. This row is going to be worked from the wrong side out. So to start this first row, insert your hook right into this chain space, grab a loop here, bring it through and chain three. Here I'm going to be adding an extra fan and it's going to be done here where we did the chain. So chain three. Now one thing, make sure to leave a nice long tail here because once this part here is done, you're going to seam this hole. You're just going to go stitch by stitch and join. You can do that after we're done. So I have my three chains and right into this same space, I'm going to make two double crochets. Here I'm making a fan for this first row. There, here's the fan. Now between this fan and this first fan out of the nine that we left, there's a big gap. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into this same fan where we did this second fan when we separated the legs. So right into this chain space there, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, Insert your hook into the chain space of the first fan, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And as you can see, this gap here is now separated by that double crochet. So now complete your fan here. So make two more double crochets, chain one, double crochet. So here's the first fan. Now into the next 
fan, make a fan, and so on. So here you're just going to work these nine fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row for the first leg. I'm here at the end of this first row for the first leg now. I have a total of 10 fans, including this one here that we added here into the chain space of the crutch. Now, this row was worked from the wrong side out because we're following the same pattern here. So to finish here, we're going to do the same thing I did here. We're going to make a double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into this same fan where we did the second fan here for the back side. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now to finish the row, go into the third chain here at the beginning and make a slip stitch where you close this double crochet. And this row here is done, and this is how it looks. You should have 10 fans. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. Now for the second row, we're going to turn, and beginning into this next double crochet, make a slip stitch and a slip stitch into the chain space. Now chain three, two double crochets, chain one, one double crochet, and then you're going to repeat the same thing into each one of the chain spaces of each fan. You're going to make a fan for this second row all around, and at the end, we're going to be left with 10 fans for this second row. So continue. I will meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here's my last fan. I have 10 fans. Now to finish, go here to the beginning where we have the three chains, and into the third chain, make a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row. Now, I'm not going to continue anymore. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the bottom here of the leg in the same way how we did the waistband. If you want to continue and turn this into a pair of pants, you can. You can just continue and make the legs as long as you want and just continue with the same number of fans. So now for the third row, we're going to chain one. In this row, what I'm going to do is half double crochets all around. So each one of the fans here, we have four double crochets and one chain space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the chain space and into the double crochets, I'm going to make half double crochets. So to begin here, insert your hook back into this first stitch, which is the same one that we joined to, and make the first half double crochet into the next make a half double crochet and into the next a half double crochet so here i have three half double crochets now skip this chain space and into the last double crochet of this first fan make a half double crochet so here i have four half double crochets now we have the second fan do the same thing make one half double crochet on each double crochet skip the chain space and into the double crochet make a half double crochet so each fan is going to have four half double crochets. Continue like this for this third row. I will meet you at the end. I finished making this third row here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. At the end of this third row, I had 40 half double crochets. Now I'm going to change the yarn color here. So insert your hook back into the same stitch where we joined to, which is the first half double crochet. Bring this loop through chain one now beginning into the first half double crochet here make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet into the next front post half double crochet back post half double crochet into the next and so on for this fourth row this is all we're going to do front post and back post half double crochets Continue like this all around. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Here's my last stitch. It's a back post half double crochet, and I have 40 stitches at the end of this fourth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row five, we're going to repeat the same thing. So chain one and beginning into this first half double crochet, make a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next and so on here we're going to work these stitches exactly how they are if you see a front post make a front post half double crochet if you see a back post then make a back post half double crochet continue all around for this fifth row i'll meet you at the end 
I finished this fifth row. This is where we did front post and back post half double crochets. Here at the end, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And at the end of this fifth row, I had 40 stitches as well. Now, this part here is done. So what you're going to do next is you're going to make the second leg and you're going to do it exactly in the same way how we did the first leg. So I'm going to start you off again. This is the left side, it's the back side. So we're going to go here to the right side and we're going to begin here here where we did the chain to separate the legs so insert your hook into this chain space grab a loop chain three one two three now make two double crochets here we're making this fan here so chain one and double crochet here's the first fan again this row is going to be worked from the wrong side out now yarn over and we don't want a gap between this first fan and the second one so what you're going to do is go into the same chain space where we did this fan here for the crutch insert your hook there grab a loop take two loops off two loops on the hook now go into the first chain space of the first fan of the nine that we left for the second leg grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close so here's that double crochet decrease now finish this fan so make two double crochets, chain one, double crochet. And now into each fan in the chain space, you're going to make fans all around. Continue like this for this first row for the second leg. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row for the second leg. Here's my last fan. Now to finish here, we're going to yarn over. And again, we don't want this gap between the first and the last fan. So insert your hook into this same chain space of this fan where we did this fan here for the crutch. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. Now go here to the beginning where we have the three chains into the third chain, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. And here is the first row for the second leg with a total of 10 fans. Now for the second row we're going to turn here now in the second row we're going to make a slip stitch into the first double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain space now chain three make two double crochets chain one double crochet here's the first fan for the second leg and into each chain space of each fan you're going to make a fan now at the end of this row you're going to have 10 fans and to finish you're just going to go here to the beginning join with a slip stitch into the third chain and then make the third row which is the row here of half double crochets and then finish with the last two rows in white where you make front post and back post half double crochets you can rewind the video this part here is done exactly in the same way from here on so continue finish the second leg and then i'll come back and show you the finished diaper cover i finished making the second leg i did it exactly in the same way as i showed you here with the first side now i already hid my ends as well and i also went ahead and joined here the crutch area i did it how i told you you're just going to go stitch by stitch and then just hide your ends so the diaper cover is all done and this is how it looks Here's the front and here's the back side. I already hit all my ends and here around the waist, what I did was I just made this long chain. This is about 120 chains and I just weaved it here through the center. Here for the legs, I just weaved this ribbon here all around and just tied a little bow. So you can do the same thing. So this diaper cover is all done to match the little dress that I showed you, this one here in the information box below. I'll go ahead and leave you the link to that tutorial. And as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Now, let me give you the final measurements from the top of the waist to the end here. It's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. From the waist up to the crutch here, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about 8 inches. And the waist, just the top, it's measuring about 22 centimeters, which is about 8.5 inches. So based on these measurements, 
this diaper cover along with the little dress is for baby girls between three and six months old now you can easily make it smaller or bigger in the information box i'll go ahead and leave you some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now stay tuned in another tutorial i'm going to show you how to make the matching baby booties and perhaps a little matching cap or hat or bonnet i'm not sure which comment below and let me know which you prefer okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time